Hi, welcome to Bearded Meeple. Today, we are going to rule the pond with an iron uh, fist thing. I'm not really exactly sure what to call it on them. We're looking at the game Bullfrogs. It was a lot of fun. I really like playing it, but I like playing a lot of different types of games. If you like games that are area control, this might be the game for you. A couple things it had going for it. One, there's not hundreds and hundreds of pieces. It's good quality cardstock and neat little wooden frogs. There's strategy involved for sure. The one thing that might go against it, it might be a little AP, analysis paralysis. That's not the game's fault. That's the people you're playing with. Give them a little smack and say, come on, go already. Anyway, I like the game. Let's take a look at it. Bullfrogs, a game for two to four players that takes approximately 30 minutes and deals with area control and majority rules. Each player receives a play sequence card and it also doubles as end of game scoring. Everyone's gonna get 10 cards. You hold three in your hand and play one per turn. A card is gonna show you how many actions you're gonna get when you play that card how many frogs a card can hold before it sinks and is taken out of the game, and how many points that card is worth at end of game scoring. Each player receives 14 frogs with a strength and a value of one, and two bullfrogs with a strength and a value of two. On my turn, I'm gonna place this card, and I see I have up to four actions available to me. Deploy or sabotage. To deploy, you may place up to two frogs and or bullfrogs in any combination. You never deploy on the card placed, nor on the log. The frogs must be placed in the same row or column as the card played. So I've placed here and here. The other option is sabotage. You play a card and from a row or column, you may move an opposing player's frog to an adjacent card. You may never sabotage bullfrogs, so we're gonna move blue over here. The card is now full and begins to sink. Let's take a look at how it's scored. Green will win the fight with a combined strength of three. The active player now chooses where to move the opponent's frogs and then bullfrogs to adjacent cards. I want to see a fight, so I'll move blue up there, and I'll move yellow over here. Now my frogs have nowhere to jump, so my frog goes back to my player pool, my bullfrog gets removed from the game. I take the card to score four points at the end, and it's the next player's turn. When everyone has placed all their cards, it triggers game end. And just so you know, there were a few rules I left out, but you get the gist of the game. And that's Bullfrogs. The game's fun. I hope it comes to a store near you and you get a chance to check it out. And I'll talk to you again soon. <laughs>